everyone and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in these videos we tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I sat at the feet of Leo and Louis this morning and learned from them about the ways of Anastir. Been reading the rule book and scenario booklet for the demo version 2, so that playthrough of Anastir is just around the corner. I do want JT and I to get at least one play under our belts in private before recording or streaming the playthrough. I did do an unboxing of Anastir last Friday during my live Q&A when my prototype came in, and I tried to give as in-depth a look as it, at it as I could, so feel free to check that out too. In the meantime, I'll be putting on my usual two videos this week with Mythic Plays on Thursday and another live Q&A on Friday, both at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. In an even more general way, I wanted to say that we are seeing all the requests for very specific kinds of information on the different campaigns we have going into the production phase right now, from card counts and how the weathering effects will look to storage solutions and translation timeframes. We keep an eye on a myriad of social media outlets and we communicate with the project managers as much as we possibly can on what you're wanting to see. But the simple fact of the matter is that your hive mind moves much more quickly than development usually has the chance to advance. So please be patient and realize that our silence on those topics doesn't mean that we're ignoring you. It could easily mean that we simply aren't prepared to share the information yet for a myriad of possible reasons. Additionally, please realize that once projects get to this stage in development and are about to step into the production phase, they usually go to a once a month frequency for updates. Sincerely, your excitement is infectious and we feel it too. But many of the things you're asking information on right now will, at the least, take some time to compile accurate responses. So please bear with us. Now we do have a bit more information on a few of our projects, so let's get to them. For Joan of Arc today, we wanted to mention that we're able to open the replacement requests for the Siege expansion towers and doors through Meeple Logistics for the EU and rest of the world shipping regions starting this Friday, April 8th. As for the rest of the issues that are awaiting announced resolutions, we are close to being able to say what those are, but we are still in ongoing conversations with the factory about when we will be able to action some of those things. So, as soon as we have a clearer picture on what those resolution actionings will be, we'll be coming back to everyone with our plans moving forward. For Six Siege today, we wanted to give you more information on the digital module release schedule. We're going to be releasing all the core retail content and the year zero content, which basically includes the rest of the content that was included in the Kickstarter core box this month. We will, of course, endeavor to have it ready and released as soon as possible, but it will be released on Tabletop Simulator before the end of April. We will then release the year one content in January 2023, so we'll have plenty of content up for you very soon, and you'll be able to start formulating your strategies and tactics for when your product arrives. A bit of news for Rise of the Necromancers, we're still in the approval, translation, and proofreading process, and we validated all the content of the lore book, along with some other things too. It's been edited, proofread, and sent to translation and layout, and this is a huge chunk of text, believe me. Now, it's not as big as something like Hell or Solomon Cain, mind you, but you'll have a good read, or at least we hope you will. The lore booklet is all about the Necromancer's origin stories, and you'll quickly learn that they are born from opportunity, from malice, or sheer ambition. And their fates are all tied to one central theme, evil. Next update, we'll share a piece of art you've never seen before, and who knows? Maybe we'll share something else that you've never seen before as well. Can you guess what it is? Maybe you'll get it right, maybe you'll get it wrong, but you'll never know until we show you. <laughs> At long last, and since we're now in the month of April, we'd like to announce the launch of our next Kickstarter project. 
Anastir will launch on Kickstarter at 7 p.m. Central European Time on Tuesday, April 19th. And it will run for 17 days until Friday, May 6th. We have so much in store for this project and we're very excited to see it finally launch. In the meantime, there is a notify me button that you can click that will send you an email when the launch occurs. And we have a couple places you can go for more information about the game in general. We're continuing to populate both the Facebook group and the BGG product page with images and background on the many characters and heroes in the game. And we're still publishing articles on our website too. King of Average, Rolling Solo, and I have all done unboxings for the prototypes that were sent. I'll be doing a playthrough of it soon, and I know the Paris office and Geek and Sundry have been doing some recordings of it as well. So there will be plenty of content out there to help you make the right choice for yourself by the time the campaign begins. It's going to be an awesome ride, so I hope that we'll see you there. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show because, quite frankly, you never know what Leo is going to do. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my two videos on Thursday and Friday, so be on the lookout for those. And you might even get one for free on Thursday night, but we'll have to wait and see. That's it for it today, though. Once again, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.